The government will be placing special emphasis on the broad areas of textiles and apparels, leather products, agro-processing, manufacture of construction materials, oil, mining, ICT, and fish processing to grow the manufacturing sector in the next five years. According to the draft 2018 budget policy statement, the government plans to develop cotton production using hybrids, which yield three times more than the present convention of varieties, buy domestically grown cotton, improve governance in the import rules for textile products to cushion local producers, as well as offer incentives to investors to build modern engineries and textile manufacturing plants. In the hides and skin sector, the government hopes to support local processing, train personnel and set up 5,000 cottage industries, complete the Machakos leather park and identify three more leather parks. To cushion local manufacturers, the state will review import rules for finished leather products with the aim of creating wider market access. To promote growth of the agro-processing sector, the government plans to support value addition to agricultural produce across the value chain. This will involve mapping tea, dairy, meat, and crops value chains, attract two global tea processors in Mombasa, regulate milk hawking business, develop warehousing and cold chain stores, and progress Mombasa Food Value Add Hub. In the blue economy sector, the government plans to set up a $20 million fish feed mill and identify two aquaculture investors. The state further plans to enhance the establishment of phone, laptop, and TV assembly plants, as well as five business process outsourcing players to create 10,000 jobs. Right now, the focus is on the, the big four items. Even the budget for, next, for the next financial year, you find that these four items are like the planks for the budget and all these other sectors are support are acting as supports uh, enablers to realization of the big four uh, agenda items so you are likely to see uh, the four items taking a significant portion of the entire budget rather than even the uh, economic de uh, d development spending but nevertheless the ongoing projects that were still there the roads the uh, railway lines that were still there as at last uh, at the current financial year, we'll still see that it will, it will still be continued in the next financial year. According to the draft budget policy statement, the government hopes to raise the contribution of the manufacturing sector to GDP from the current 9.2% to 15% by 2022 by adding 2 to $3 billion to the GDP and in the process increase manufacturing sector jobs by more than 800,000. Nicholas Nduating, News Our Business.